Welcome to Gregel's TV Daily. Hope you're having a fantastic day. Remember, the Galaxy S10, the Tab S10, should be out in a couple of months. Probably like October should be the release date. So I guess it's a few months, you could say. And that tablet is going to have, the series of tablet, is going to have a non-Snapdragon processor. Remember, it's going to have the MediaTek processor. We've heard some good things about this processor. Not all is lost. A MediaTek does make high-end processors. And we're finally seeing some benchmarks on the Galaxy Tab S10. This one specifically is from the Tab S10 Plus with the Dimensity 9300 Plus running Android 14 with 12 gigs of RAM, has a single core score of 2170 and a multi-core score of 7293, the most powerful Galaxy Tab ever. And the Galaxy Tab S10 series will be over 40% faster in CPU performance and also in GPU performance, it'll be over 30% faster. So some nice, nice gains on this. That'll help with gaming and everything else that you're gonna wanna do, it's gonna be high intensity. And the overall fit, feel, and finish with the new software should be a really nice upgrade in terms of what you feel on a day-to-day -day basis, but then also, again, with everything else you throw at this. I'm kind of excited about this. I know my son tries to play Fortnite sometimes, especially lately, and it gets a little bit slowed down. So I'm hoping that these 30 and 40% games can really help with that performance, but uh, we'll wait and see. Now the Galaxy S24 series is going to get the One UI 7 beta here in America, but there are definitely some caveats to that in terms of who and when you will receive this. Now, when it's supposed to be released sometime this coming week. And that's a good thing. That's literally just a couple days away. Um, I don't think it'll be Monday. It'll probably be like Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, somewhere in that range, but it should be coming out. But then the other part of it is the following. This is taking uh, on this website, the Samsung, the Samsung, this Samsung website, I should say. One UI 7 beta will be available in the US, but not for all consumers. And the company will avail the firmware to carrier unlocked models in the country. So you have to have an unlocked version of the S24 series in order to get the One UI 7 beta. Meanwhile, carrier locked models are not eligible for the beta firmware given previous rollouts. T-Mobile is an exception here. Despite incompatibility with carrier variants, Samsung and T-Mobile offer One UI beta trials to Samsung Galaxy users this year as well. The S24 series will be eligible to test the beta alongside the unlocked model. So you have to have an unlocked version of the Galaxy S24 and you, you should be fine with getting it no matter which carrier you're on. And then you should also, if you if you have a locked version of the phone, the only locked version is sounding like you'll have to be on T-Mobile, not AT&T or Verizon. I have the unlocked version, so I should be okay, but we'll wait and see what happens with that. Are you gonna download the beta? And uh, which carrier are you on? So that, or, or maybe you have the unlocked. Let me know if you have the unlocked or locked. Let me know in the comments down below. Have a great day, guys. We'll see you down the road. Peace.